Uh, my name is uh, Ali Lawfeq. I'm uh, an alumnus of AUI University. I came here to participate with our project Jabakala. Jabakala is a social mobile application that is uh, that is, that uh, won last year's uh, award of in innovation information technology. It was national award of innovation, and we got the first prize. And we got a great support from governmental uh, funds and uh, from uh, from uh, some. Uh, some good people in information technology. So we decided why not taking this idea to the next step and making it real, real one, not only stopping the prototype of the competition. So we came here to, to, to introduce our idea, to pitch in front of the judges, to have support, to beat rain, to, to, uh, to fill all those little gaps that we are having in our business plan or our marketing plan. Everything, the single detail, as the saying goes, the evil is in the details. We want to make everything perfect so we can launch our application. What our application is about is about a social network that uses mobile technologies like your iPad or iPhone or even your laptop if you want. That enables you to first to give help to people, physical help, real help, real social interaction, and to get help from people. I want to watch a soccer game. I don't know where to watch it or where is the time to watch it. I can ask people that, that are nearby me. It's based on location and GPS. So I can find people near me that can give me advice in this. I am a university. I need someone to, to introduce me to some calculus to help me in some history matters. I can ask who can help me in this. And I also I can give help to people. These people can get help with each other and engage in real social interaction with each other. So it's an it's a application first that we think it's useful to fulfill the one of these uh, real social needs. Secondly, we believe that the future of our interactions will be more real because the mobile technologies are bridging between the virtual reality to the reality of our daily lives. And thirdly, we want some, a social network that has something beyond sharing contacts or liking contacts and spreading some information, but we want a social network that makes people do impact that matters. Senior year at AOI, and we were to design our, our, our capstone project. And then our, one of our professors called us, okay, we have this innovation technology challenge. Who wants to get in? And he called three of us. We were good at the university. And we gathered together. We said, okay, this is a big competition. What can we do? And then we started brainstorming, and we got this idea. I have this mobile phone in my pocket. What can I use this to make my life amazing and beautiful? Besides watching videos, and this is not human. I want something that was real human, that will make to, to make the technology make us be more human than we are used to. And they said, why cannot ask, ask help from my neighbor to help me in, in fixing my, like, uh, my, my, uh, my water uh, or fixing my shower or f helping uh, like, uh, or doing carpooling with my neighbors or my co-workers. Then we started brainstorming, then we came, okay, why not using the mobile phone to bridge real social interaction between people? That was the, the first, it was like a meeting of two hours. We got the idea and then we started working on it. And uh, we, make, we made it available for all phones, available in the cloud, so we cannot spend a lot of money in infrastructure and stuff. Make it very uh, customizable, feasible, and uh, we start doing the prototype. And then we go to what we got till now. First, all sorts of work, as I said, is about sharing or liking content. Secondly, the aspect of social networks, that's why we like them, is that they enable us to keep in touch with people we already know or know new people. But we found that all the social networks are, they are good, they are great, but they are far from, from being human. I, I ask myself as a human, as a child of nature, as, some, as like a bird, like, like an ant. Ants work together, birds work together, the ecosystem of nature is all working together. But how can we, how can we contribute to this? to the synergies already existing. Because I'm a little bit more like a, like a philosopher and artist at the same time. So, and with the computer science, okay, why not bridging this and making people do things that matter? For example, I'm, a, I'm an NGO, I'm looking for volunteers. I can spread the word, who is volunteering? I want to launch a soccer game. I want to do a group shopping with my buddies. I want to, to throw a party. I didn't find any solution in front of me that enables me to to use this technology to bridge, to, 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 to break those bridges that we're having in real life. That's where the idea comes from. And that's why we believe it's innovative, it's out of the box, out of the paradigm, 
and it's fulfilling a real need that we need day in day out. First, saying that something is hard is not for me like a, a barrier. If you are a scientific, you want to win a Nobel Prize. If you are a, a sportsman, you want to have an Olympic medal. And those guys, they do hard work, they, they orient themselves, they have discipline, uh, commitment, and they work for it till they get, they get to their goal. For as an entrepreneur, I have, I, 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 ho I have something more in my life important than money, or having a job, or being comfortable in a place. I have an objective, I'm a child of nature, I play in this energy. For me to get to that objective, I need to go to entrepreneur. It's like someone who wants to swim, who wants an Olympic medal. It will not only, uh, it's like for me, I'm saying, I'm trying to cross the Atlantic from Morocco to the US by swimming. If, if someone wants to, to go to this goal, he will not say, uh, going for a job for me is like saying, I'm going to do some, some small sport, I do not go to swimming. First, if you want to swim, you should jump into the water, feel what water what is like, and then f like fight, fight your way out of the water till you learn how to swim, how to control your breathing. That's what I've, I've, I've gone through. If I want to be an entrepreneur, if I want to achieve something big, if I want someday to be a CEO that has a great impact, I should first get into the, to, this, to, this, to, this, uh, to this universe and fight for it. And at the end, in the worst case, it will be a great experience, an amazing trip that you will have enjoyed. In Morocco, for advantages, talking about advantages, first, wherever you go in the world, there are skillful people. And here in Morocco, there are, there, there, there are a handful of skillful people and many skillful people that need to, to express their, their skills. That was one of the, 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 the first hampers of a social network is having skillful people working on it. Second thing is the, the economical opportunity. As we have seen, talking about econo economically, uh, about uh, future forecasts, uh, Morocco is most stable in terms of uh, in terms of uh, uh, investments. Not like the US, not like the Europe. The, the, it, there is a lot of uh, like uh, turbulence, a lot of uh, competitivity. There is the, the, uh, there are other similar ideas, similar things going on. So it's more like uh, for me, it's like a, an ocean that is that is not uh, that is really really stormy. That you have should have a good ship and a very good uh, 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 sailor who can, who can uh, uh, captain sailor who can, who can follow the ship. For me, Morocco is something that is a little stable. Investors will be, are, are getting more interest in the North Africa region. So that's the first thing of how I chose Morocco. Second thing, if you are going to do such projects, you will have support from, from all entities because you're going to bring uh, to something that is good for the, for, for the country. And uh, thirdly, it's my home country and I want to do something big for it. I want uh, to like to make a Silicon Valley in the North Africa, why not? So that was my objective. So if I want to get to it, I should start by getting here. That's what all the advantage is. The other advantage is that uh, when you are an entrepreneur here in Morocco and that you are, you are hitting something big, you, are, you have support from everywhere because it's not really usual here, not like in the US, like in the Europe, and you will have great support from all entities, from governments, from big companies, and that's what we got really. We got big support and big encouragement. We heard about Microsoft Initiative. We got an email from our Vice President of Research and Development at AUI. That was the first email. Second email, I'm like subscribing to many mailing lists. Through Facebook, I've got an. I, I had like a, it was like something like I, ha I had information from everywhere. Wherever I go to something that is a little bit rich on entrepreneurship, I, I heard about uh, Maghreb Startup Initiative. And each day, each time they keep us reminding us, reminding us, reminding us. That's why it was like something that is they have done a really great communication about uh, making making uh, like a. Uh, buzz about the event and making people go to it and I, I hadn't like had any at first I was hesitating but when I thought those guys want to, to do something big I said okay why not go into start an initiative and see what we can do there. By the way of the occupation I want to have uh, a mature business plan I, ho I want to fill as I said I want to fill those little gaps that I have in my planning and finalizing everything, having a lot of feedback from many entrepreneurs and having a, a network of other new entrepreneurs because one day, some one of us will be 
will have some great success and we want to help each other because entrepreneurs are, all, are always seen as those aliens that want to do their own things. So at least you feel you are not, uh, are not strange enough from other people. So it gives you more courage. It, uh, the, from the training with, uh, with, uh, with uh, the mentors, like having that feedback from a person, it's not like, like uh, uh, watching a video in YouTube or following a distance course like Stanford Venture Lab or uh, MIT Open Course where like having direct feedback direct uh, like uh, it helps you be like a uh, be more like a uh, uh, robust have a robust business plan have a strong thing and uh, especially giving confidence in your in yourself and being like uh, being disciplined because here we are waking up early sleeping up late working hard like it's also like a camp that helps you get disciplined and helps you be more productive in your life First, the jury, like what goal? I also like I'm a person that is objective oriented. I cannot say I'm doing this without some specific objectives. First thing, objective, I, was, uh, I want the jury to feel that they have th their heart should should feel they should love the idea. They should say, I want this to happen. First thing. Second thing, I want the jury to say, if I had money, I would put my my money in this idea, and they will make this thing happen. Thirdly, I want to, uh, the jury to believe that someone somewhere here in this country can do something big and will do something big. And uh, I want them to be engaged emotionally, uh, culturally, like uh, patriotically and, uh, and uh, intellectually to see the robustness of the idea, the purpose of the plan, the creativity of the idea, and to feel that they should go. It's, it's their idea. I want them to feel it's their idea. They should fight for it and they should help me out of it to make it happen. That's, that is the object of my presentation and that's the objective that I need the jury to have as a, such a reaction. There are three kinds of people. Those who dream about starting a business and those who have an idea that they think would be good at business and those who always jump trying their idea as a business. For the first category, I say, if you want to do some, some big idea someday, want to be a big entrepreneur, at least jump in something, in a, a startup or jump in a, in a NGO, do something that is from your own, from your heart, that you want to see impact in your neighborhood, like going in, doing social activities, doing some, at least giving some presentations, pitching your ideas, uh, pitching your, your, like, your, 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 uh, what you have done in your life and trying to go there. For the ones who have an idea, who think that will be great, first thing what I advise them is to go in the market, try a business, try something to know the basics of doing a business. When I was at AUI at school, I started my business in my, in my, at the end of my third year, it's a small business about uh, auditing in security and penetration testing, but I had, the but I learned the skills of a real business person and what, what, what is the reality out there, it's not like in the books. So I, I, I advise them to jump in the water, to get themselves out into, uh, in the water and to try to swim, even if they know, uh, don't know how to swim, but they will, they will not regret it and it will be only beneficial for them. To sum this up, just jump in and learn by doing the business, not by dreaming about your business.